What's up guys? For some reason I'm still stuck in New York City instead of on a beach in Mexico or, or Russia or Siberia or somewhere away from New York City somewhere and uh, hey, what's new? The mechanic is still using my driveway and loading dock as his personal uh, tow truck parking lot as well as other cars. It, it's, just, it's just too much nonsense, like everything on top of everything and this uh, $10,000 hunk of shit still isn't working. Uh, I did have a guy come in last week to look at it and he said he can probably fix it uh the number one chinamen were unable to send me the schematics for the control panel uh, so we're going to try to figure it out and we'll take a look at that real quick uh, because it's what's been bothering me a lot lately just to show you guys the electrical work so this is the control panel which is the temperature sensor and everything and the relays are all messed up all these are supposed to be connected and you know some of them are not i don't know what the hell this electrician did uh some of the buttons like the fan on and off and the light isn't connected because he just connected the heat and the fan together. Uh, he changed uh, these two uh, breakers. I, I, it's just a complete wiring mess. And, and again, I made a huge mistake not knowing how it was originally wired and then not keeping the, the two breakers he threw out. But lesson learned. Hopefully uh, we can fix it. I posted an ad on Craigslist and a couple of guys were interested in the job. So even if this one guy uh, isn't too sure how to fix it. I'm, I'm sure we'll be able to find someone. I'm just losing money every week not having this thing operational and it's uh, a little too much added stress. So I'm usually down here seven days a week, but yesterday, Sunday, I didn't come down because of that really bad storm. I saw some like uh, social media posts about how there was like a foot of water on the Cross Bronx and I was like, you know what? I'm not sitting in traffic for, you know, an hour, two hours on a Sunday. I didn't have too much to do, but now I'm kind of behind today. So I'm going to try to I get all the orders done for Frankie's Range Foods, Oregon Supplements, Frankie's Naturals, Wi-Fi Shielding, and then, uh, and then we'll chat for a bit about what's going on this week. Uh, we do have the, the new glucose products coming in, hopefully. And the Wi-Fi Shielding, clothing, some of it should be done and ready to go out this week. The t-shirt and the shorts, it's actually gonna be a tank top. And we also have uh, new Oregon Supplements powders coming in, so we're gonna restock the full spectrum, hopefully. Uh, so, we're moving along. Uh, not much progress with this slaughterhouse paperwork. Uh, so I'm definitely considering uh, the Russian girl, Mexican girl option. But we'll see. So we actually had a pretty slow weekend when it comes to orders. Only about half as many as normal across all the businesses. Uh, so thankfully, not too much work this Monday. Uh, nice little breather. I mean, it's kind of expected. I haven't been doing any sales on Frankie's to arrange me sending out any emails. I haven't been promoting the products too much in my videos. Uh, so in regards to Frankie's Free Range Foods, we do have all of the best bars in stock. Uh, we have some water kefir grains. However, uh, I did run out of actual water kefir. Hopefully I have it in another two or three days. We have all of the animal fats in stock, the beef tallow, the wagyu tallow, the lamb tallow, uh, the Iberico pork lard. Hopefully that glucose product is available uh, this week or next week. And I am sorry that I ran out of the water kefir on you guys. Uh, I would say check on Wednesday or Thursday. I should be able to restock about 30 more. And uh, I think we'll have a, a Gerald Steiner batch. So if you guys want a higher calcium water, water kefir, uh, check that out. So I think I've mentioned several times that something happens every week that basically evens out our profits. This week, it's the import cost of the glucose, which is like $2,500, absolutely insane. Uh, so if any of you guys do work in international imports or customs, I just want to understand how screwed I'm getting. I don't really have a choice. Uh, I feel like I'm getting held hostage by customs uh, for $2,500 and uh, it's a little irritating. Uh, but uh, I do have to really uh, get home, make some phone calls, go on my computer, uh, things that I've been delaying for a few weeks I really have to get sorted out. And <laughs> you guys probably think I'm an idiot that I haven't set up the computer and phone downstairs here yet. But um, I'm just like exhausted with everything. I don't want to have to figure anything out at this point. So let's just, uh, let's walk downstairs. Let's take a quick look around, show you guys what's up, and then we'll go in the freezer as usual. So most of the minerals and vitamins are in stock on organ supplements. I got to do some more trace minerals and K2, but we have just about everything. You guys have been buying a lot of the B complex as well as the magnesium, always popular. Of course, we have the magnesium oil and I'm actually out of mastic gum so I got to email them later hopefully we can get some more in and we have all of the different beef powders the enzyme blends all nicely organized 
on a rack. Frankie's Naturals HQ has seen better days. Uh, we're out of moisturizing cream and I was thinking about making a like self tanning moisturizing cream. I mean, this is already a tanning product. Like my moisturizing cream has vitamin D in it. It is a tanning accelerant, but I might put some like cocoa powder in there as a suggestion from one of my viewers. So it's actually like darker and makes your skin darker when you put it on. So I'll probably make that today or tomorrow. Uh, that means if you guys do want to try out uh, the new moisturizing cream formula, uh, just wait a couple days and then uh, we'll have it on frankiesnaturals.com. So we got one of my guys in here working on the orders. As I mentioned last week, the ribeyes and strip steaks are 10 ounce portion now. I put some of the uh, Kobe Wagyu ribeye steaks on the website so you guys can buy these now. Way too many beef patties. We are out of picanha steaks. A couple of you guys did order picanha steaks this week. Uh, I'm gonna either issue a refund and I'll also send you guys some picanha whole for free. We have a decent amount of beef kidney left, but I guess we're even running low on that now. Uh, I should be getting beef heart and liver back in stock this week. Uh, a lot of you guys have been waiting on that. And we do have the tendons, which you guys haven't been buying like crazy, so I might lower the price a little bit. Plenty of beef suet fat here, wagyu. Decent amount of whole picanha left. We're going through it though. And plenty of beef tongues. Way too much beef tongue. I said in the past two or three vlogs that uh, I've been pretty hands off down here. My guys have been doing everything, which is nice, but I don't get to keep as good of an eye on the inventory, even though like I always count it when it comes in and, and stock it properly. Uh, I just got to spend some time in here this week and on the website updating things. Uh, the problem with the stuff like the tendons and the beef tongue and the oxtail, it's more of like a winter cold weather thing. So if I lower the price now to sell it, I might not be able to get some in by the winter, but we'll see. You now what's gonna really save me a huge headache with the slaughterhouse is every week we're gonna do the same thing. You know, we cut up two or three cows, we have the same amount of cuts, the same amount of organs, everything gets restocked, and then I can just like substitute stuff here and there from different vendors. Now it's like, okay, I need this, I need that, I need that, and I'm ordering separate things. So I guess with time, but uh, that should be it for this week. So hopefully I can get everything sorted out. <laughs> we don't get our power shut down by Con Edison. I'm trying to make sure of that. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but the electrical panel for the building is all messed up. So our electrical bill is way higher than it's supposed to. I can't really afford to pay it because uh, it's like over $1,000 a month. So I got to call Con Edison and, and see what the deal is and try to sort things out with my landlord who also is supposed to fix the motors for both of these AC units because it's the heating too. And landlords in New York City don't have to fix AC, but they do have to fix heat. I just don't know if this guy's been waiting for, uh, waiting for the winter or what, but I haven't paid the rent on here either. I'm just, I'm just so fed up with everything. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, which is why I am just taking it day by day. So, so I guess that's it. I mean, I can't really figure out why the order volume was so much lower this week. Maybe we just uh, ran out of too many products, but it's been like that for the last two years, always some type of uh, sourcing issue. But thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you guys can share this on social media, Facebook, whatever it may be, and that would help me out. Uh, but thanks again, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.